Hi, Phil Aston here from Naz Binning Magazine with another unboxing video. And you can probably work out what the band might be. It isn't this box set because I've done this before, but I'm going to show it anyway because it's related. This is Mad Fishes, enormous. Classic box set. Yes, yes, I'm struggling to find the words there because this is. Out of all the things that I have around me, this is probably my most treasured box set of all time. The Vintage Years by Wishbone Ash by Mad Fit, from Madfish. And look up the other video I've done in, unboxing this, but this is related to what I'm going to show you today because it is the same band, it is Wishbone Ash. So look up the Vintage Years. Absolutely fantastic. Because Madfish also created this which was Argus um, in 2023, which I also reviewed, which is absolutely fantastic. So what is this that I'm going to show you now? And it won't be, hopefully not, the only Wishbone Ash box set that I show you in 2024. But it is Living Proof, the live vinyl box set. Um, this is amazing and my rationale for having it here at Naspini Magazine Towers is the Tokyo album which isn't available anywhere else but in this set. Anyway before I go on let's have a look inside this box. So this is Wishbone Ash Living Proof for live recordings 1976 to 1980. It's an absolutely mammoth box set um, from Madfish Records. Great design, really minimalistic in some respects, um, but really tasteful as well. It's a slipcase, the albums slide out like so. Let's put the box into the background. And all the vinyl albums sit very neatly in this slip case here. And each one of them, if you can see this, is numbered. Um, one to five and the design is very minimalist you can see here this is uh let's move that out of the way this is guild hall 1980 so there's some live pictures across one side and then where the this is the just testing tour this one and the lyrics on the back and then the vinyl itself is absolutely pristine they're not polyline sleeves but they're they're absolutely perfect pressings no paper dust whatsoever so you've got five double albums in this set so also so basically the all the albums obviously look the same so I don't need to probably show you there's a different slight shade of blue um, but beautiful I think simplistic design what it does have is this incredible um, booklet from the time and it's it goes an extra few miles this booklet and I'll show you what I mean uh, you've got some obviously the pictures you've got living proof the an introduction to the set and about wishbone ash some great pictures Tokyo Sun Plaza as mentioned here first of all which is one of my favorites in the set because it's unique to this set and there's a story behind each one of the gigs that are featured here some are obviously in the vintage years box set on cd and then you've got a, a breakdown with each member of the band involved talking about each track that's featured on this box set so whatever tracks are featured there is a discussion about literally each one and which goes into great detail for example and um, this is Laurie uh, talking about if in all my dreams you rescue me literally the whole page and the feeling about how the song came together etc outward bound mother of pearl also included is those of you with long memories of 1978 because I was there uh, I was there on Thursday the 20th of October is the is the program that was on the seat of the gig um, has been reproduced here which is marvelous stuff 
and again this is going through the tracks track by track analysis by the band which is wonderful front page news phoenix errors of my way you see red fub um, one of my favorite tracks uh, the way of the world Angelin harmony doctor queen of torture color pitch there living proof lifeline and here um, also in the in the set is my certificate to tell me that I've got number 400 of a thousand copies available worldwide so there aren't many of these at all and helpless and then the credits of the track times etc of each gig going all the way through to Guildford and then the credits on how the box was pulled together so that is if I can reach it Living Proof Wishbone Ash five double vinyl albums so that's Living Proof by Wishbone Ash an absolutely superb and wonderfully designed set I have to say um, as you've just seen inside it and the box and everything um, I think it's absolutely beautifully put together uh, in many ways now the attraction of this particular set to me because I know a lot of you like to know the personal reason why I'm doing it I'm not just having a box here and saying this is this page and this page is because my favourite um, Wishbone Ash album is New England this was my key entry point um, at that time and there was even a track on here that my that my dad liked and as much as on this channel I've mentioned the times that me, me, me and my dad had like a real generational gap issue with you know especially things like Deep Purple and stuff like that there were things on here he liked and that made me feel very special that we had a connection and it was the softer tracks on site too but the the other thing about this 1976 to 1980 period of wishbone ash in case you're thinking some of this is random how that how it was put together is that live dates volume two which i know many people see as one of the best recorded live albums of all time and yes live dates is a classic album but live dates too which kind of when it eventually appeared came out as a double album and a single album and all sorts of things and it kind of it didn't have the same push obviously as the first one it doesn't have the same legacy but it should and i think many wishbone ash fans over the years have realized that live dates 2 is impeccably recorded all of those all of those tracks were taken from these recordings so they'd been recording wishbone ash gigs all the time and then they use these gigs to pull out the key songs to go on to that live dates album and that's why all of these sound as good as they do um, and obviously Tokyo one is fantastic because it doesn't exist anywhere else the other ones are also in the vintage years box set on CD but this is your thing about Madfish Records is nothing escapes one or two things might but it's very rare and I have to admit that cynically I did think that most of the things in the vintage years box set would probably pop out individually on their own as separate releases over the time but it hasn't happened they're all tightly secure in that box and so and that's gone the vintage years box set has gone Argus box set is still around and this which is currently, as I'm talking to you now, is £175. That's about £35, £30 for each double album, which is probably what you'd expect for a live double album. But it comes with that wonderful book, which goes through a track-by-track -track analysis um, in great depth, and then information about each of the gigs. There are only a 1,000 of these in the world. There's still some left. It's 175, it's limited to a thousand copies, and that's it. It's gone. And the Tokyo one is 
they've all been mixed they all sound fantastic the pressings are brilliant they're, they're quiet um i've played them all and they're just wonderful pressings they really are black vinyl no dust no marks nothing on these at all on the tokyo one uh, one of the tracks fades um which is i think it's in all of my dreams you rescue me it fades out before the end which seems unusual um so i can only presume that there must have been a technical issue on the track and they faded it out or one of the musicians wasn't happy with their performance but i i can't I, i'm more likely to think it was some kind of technical issue and they kept on because it's quite a short side that um a candlelight's also on that which is beautiful song i think it's only available on, on this and there's also songs obviously from locked in which was not one of their better albums but they were, they were still pushing that album at this time but outward bound oh it's fantastic mother of pearl oh, it's just absolutely brilliant so i'll admit the the volumes one and two which are both from the new england tour are superb and the one which they did the marquee and it, they weren't playing the marquee because they weren't selling out bigger venues they did the marquee to say thank you to the people who supported them throughout the the 70s and that gig is fantastic as well but they they all are they all are this one bournemouth 78 is fantastic as well um f f u b b um is on here and it's an absolutely superb version so i'm absolutely thrilled to have this and um it's another side of what Madfish do. You saw when I did the unboxing, you've got the program from 1978. And I was there. In fact, for this video, I should have found the badge. It's the only bit of memorabilia um, that I have got somewhere in my garage. But I remember this being on the, the chair at the Birmingham Odeon on uh, Thursday the 20th in 1978. When I saw the band, I went on my own because none of my mates wanted to go that night to see Wishbone Ash. But they were, they were fantastic. And they still are fantastic. Absol absolutely. And uh, I just love the guitar playing of um, each, each period of the, of the band's, band's history. I absolute, absolutely do. Um, this is, as I said, immaculately put together. Um, London Marquis 77 is fantastic Winter Gardens 78 Bournemouth Guildford Civic Hall February 1980 is also lovely and the, the, the track by track analysis is really insightful and it doesn't um, it doesn't double up with anything from the Vintage Years book either this is these are all new interviews at the time of this box set coming out um, but yeah it's just great and you've got the, the, the tracks of nice stretching out great guitar parts superb so that is living proof by wishbone ash from madfish records there's only a thousand of them in the world it's 175 pounds for five double albums and a very big book in a nice sturdy slip case with the program from 1978 as well so thank you for watching thank you for being here remember music is the healer and the doctor let naspany magazine be the light in the darkness in 2024 Take care, keep swimming in those discs, and I shall see you all very, very soon.